Hello, I'm Peter Constable. I'm the Dean of the College of Veterinary Medicine at the University of Illinois. My role with the Merck Veterinary Manual is I was a contributor about two editions ago and I'm serving on the editorial board for the current edition. I decided to go into veterinary medicine when I was about 16. I was looking for a career that would uh, always remain interesting and would have a number of alternative career paths to pursue as you go through different stages of your life. You're usually looking for different things that interest you. I'm board certified in both uh, large animal internal medicine uh, and nutrition, but having spent most of my clinical life in food animal medicine and surgery, I've also spent quite a bit of time doing surgery I decided to go into my specialty probably more by chance than direct decision. I enjoyed some opportunities I had uh, related to cardiovascular physiology, with surgery, with diagnosis and treatment of shock, uh, doing research into very aspects of veterinary medicine. Uh, and then as opportunities arose, I had some decisions to make and I was very glad about every decision I have made in my career. The most rewarding aspects of my current position as Dean is training the future veterinarians. It's very exciting to see just how talented our future veterinarians will be and I feel very good about the veterinary profession and, and the future. I was invited to work with the veterinary manual from uh, Otto Radistitz and Hal Amstutz. Uh, both of them were very, very important leaders in food animal medicine and surgery, and both played an important role on many of the early editions for, for the Merck Veterinary Manual. So I was very honored when, when both of them uh, suggested that I play a greater role in contributing to the Merck Veterinary Manual. I think it's very important to have outside interests and to take time away from your veterinary studies and to pursue those outside interests. For me, those outside interests were music. I played in some bands and also had a number of other hobbies and, and played golf quite a bit. It's very challenging for today's veterinary students and I think it's important to make certain that you look after your own personal health and wellness. Keep outside activities, make certain you spend plenty of time for friends and family and focus more on learning how to learn rather than the information itself. As far as a career path, I think it's important to, to keep yourself open for a lot of different opportunities. And if there is something that looks interesting in there, go for it. I went uh, to England to practice because being an Australian citizen, I had the option to work in the United Kingdom when I was 26 years or under. And I always wanted to work in a practice similar to James Herriot, which was a very mixed animal type practice where you have lambs come into the waiting room for you to look at and you might get called out to look at a sick cow or a horse and dogs and cats. That was very much a, a practice that I went to, it was very much like James Herriot, and I very much enjoy the year in England. So I've had a lot of opportunities I wouldn't have anticipated. Also, my original career path did not really include research or academia, so I think it's very important for everyone to keep their options open when they're uh, entering veterinary medicine uh, because you never really know where your career path will take you.